If you haven't seen my previous video, just click the link here and as always, please subscribe! So today we're doing heatless wand curls with curl formers, so let's get started. I like to use the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk line for this, so I'll be using the leap-in conditioner, the hair milk styling foam, along with my favorite oil and my Denman brush. For this style, I use a set of 40 curl formers in extra long and wide. The set comes with two wands, 20 pink extra long curl formers, and 20 orange wide curl formers. So let's get started. You're going to start on clean, detangled, damp hair. You do not want your hair to be soaking wet that has been sectioned off into smaller sections. I start by applying the Carol's Daughter Leave-In Hair Milk Conditioner, then my oil as a sealant, and then a styling foam so that my curls will have a really good hold for the week. Before prepping your hair, you want to prep your wand. So all you're going to do is stick the wand through the end of the curl former and pull it all the way through so that you can see the hook out the other end. In the moment, you can just set your wand aside and then you're going to just section your hair into smaller one inch sections. This is just to help with drying time. Then just detangle your hair and make sure that it's completely smooth. So I'm going to show you the technique I use. I start by doing a small twist at the root just to ensure that they'll be straight once it dries. I then place one finger on the top of the hook as I push the coral former upwards so that it covers the entire hook. Then using a pumping motion, I pull the rod downwards while pushing the curl former up and down which helps relieve some of the tension from pulling the rod. Once the rod is halfway out, I pull the curl former up to the root and pull the rod out. It's as simple as that. <laughs> okay, let's see that technique one more time. You're going to load your curl former onto your rod, sliding it all the way down until you can see the hook peeking out the top. Next, take one of your twists and section out a smaller section, ensuring that all the tangles are smoothed out. Then take your section, twisting slightly at the root. Place your hook at the root. Pump the curl former towards your scalp and pull your hair through. And that's it. It's really pretty simple. Once that small section is done, grab another and repeat. Make sure your sections aren't overlapping so you don't yank any loose hair through by accident. You don't want to end up damaging your hair while doing this. So a kind of logistical tip, since you only have the 40 curl formers, I section my hair into four parts to make sure that I only use 10 per section. I start in the front when my hair is the less dense because I always end up using less here and can use the extra curl formers in the back or the crown where I'm going to need them. So at this point, you can sleep on these, but it is super uncomfortable. So I will be using my soft hooded dryer. I purchased it on Amazon and it was really inexpensive. The great thing about it, it was made by the same company as the curl formers, so it fits nicely over your now giant head. You use it with your handheld dryer on a low setting, either on cool or warm. It's really simple to use. You're just going to take the nozzle of the hooded dryer and place it over the nozzle of your blow dryer. And then just put the cap on your head and try and cover your curl formers in the most comfortable way possible, which is easier said than done. On the side of the cap, there's a little drawstring that you can adjust for your head size, as well as a strap that goes around your chin to make sure that once the hooded dryer is inflated, that it doesn't just kind of try and fly off your head. And then just turn your blow dryer on and it inflates. It's really simple. And now you wait and wait. And magically, two hours later, you have dry curls. Well, Make sure you have dry curls. Take one out to test it first to make sure that they are actually dry because there's nothing worse than uninstalling all of these only for your hair to frizz and not hold the curl pattern. They're actually really easy to get out. All you have to do is pinch the top of the curl former and then just slide it down your hair and then just kind of flip the curls back to make sure that they don't go into some crazy position. One thing I forgot to mention when I was installing them is that I usually place the orange ones in the back of my head because they're the wider ones and I place the pink ones in the front of my head because they're the smaller ones. But I haven't used these in a while and I totally forgot that. So don't make that same mistake. So just verify that they're all dry because you can always just go back under your hooded dryer. And then depending on what you like in terms of your style, just go in and separate the curls into smaller sections. 
I tend to like a little frizz in my hair and the more you separate them the more frizz you're going to get but to avoid that as you can see here with each curl I'm kind of just twisting it around my finger to make sure that I'm getting a good defined curl but look at these aren't these gorgeous like what loving it <laughs> The nice thing about these curls as well is it's a perfect way to also transition into other styles. So you can do updos once your hair starts to get a little bit frizzy, but the nice thing as well is your hair is fairly straight. So my natural curl pattern is normally a very tight corkscrew, and this allows me to have straighter hair. So if I want to actually do a straight style, all I have to do is kind of pull these curls a little bit more straight at night. Another really important tip for while you're installing them is to make sure that you have the curl going in the direction that you want your hair to actually be in. I make the mistake all the time of putting the curl in the wrong direction and I want my curl actually to go to the left, but I use the twist that goes to the right. So just make sure to pay attention to this. To finish this look off, I go in with my trusty pick and just kind of fluff up the roots. I love big hair like love big hair so I like to just go in with my pick and this is just going to add a lot of volume into your roots and actually get rid of some of that separation so you don't see those parts in your scalp anymore so you can do this as much or as little as you want or not at all if you prefer to have more of those thick defined curls the awesome thing about this hairstyle is it really does get better as the days go on. Your curls become a little bit more separated with each day and you can also transition it into other hairstyles, which is amazing! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of getting heatless wand curls using curl formers. All product details will be listed down below and as always, if you have any questions, just comment. Thanks for watching! <laughs>